some people hearing this could get so fearful and thinking, oh, God, the mind's absolute perfection. There's no way I can, I can reach that level and therefore I'm, I either reject what you're saying or I have to reject the gospel because there's no way I can ever reach that. But when we understand that, like you were just saying there, that it's the motives that are judged, not things that we can do un- unintentionally, the part you play is surrendering. By spending time in prayer and surrendering your will day by day to God, you won't believe how quickly your life has changed, how quickly your life has transformed, how quickly you'll hate the things you used to do. And how you'll get better at discerning what is something that's right to say, what's something that's not right to say. When I was in the world, there was things I did which I thought were perfectly normal. Mm. And as I was starting to become a Christian and reading, becoming more sensitive I saw things that I was disgusted at that I thought in the world were totally normal. Mm. And which would not have been a sin to you previously because you weren't convicted that it was a sin. No. But now it would be. Yeah. But with with that sensitivity toward those things also came an abhorrence for them. Mm. Because as you're drawing nearer to Christ, the world loses its attractions and you actually become, you never claim perfection or even I once read the, the closer holy men drew to Christ, the more they saw the imperfection of their own character. But the standard that God wants for us is so infinite. Read Philippians 3, read what the Apostle Paul himself says, how he's always striving for that mark, you know, striving to, to, to reach a higher plane in Christ Jesus. And it's a beautiful thing because it's the example you're, you're seeking to follow is, is the life of Christ. And it's that very life that's being lived out in you anyway. But what I was saying was, it's that moment-by-moment moment surrender. That's where the power comes from, exercising your will to say no to what's, what is wrong. And instead of one thinking that this is impossible, which is exactly what the devil would want one to think, and therefore give up, people will see that their lives rapidly changing if they spend time in God's Word, spend time in prayer, and applying simple things in their lives, just simple things that, they, that they're learning. They can look back in, in weeks and in months and see things that they were once had a strong hold over them and now lost that hold or lost that the temptation that they once they once had. Mm. So because you some people may think may have this image of perfection yeah. and think that they have to be that now mm. rather than just thinking about the constant moment by moment decisions that they make. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> 